Hi, I'm Mia Rigdon, and this is Alt Baking Boot Camp, social distancing style. Normally, I'm here with my co-host, Jenny. Jenny, what's up? I miss you. But today, we're gonna be doing a recipe in my kitchen here, all on my own. Okay, so today we are recreating everyone's favorite dessert, ice cream, but we're gonna be doing it without the cream, without the added sugar, and without an ice cream maker. Okay, so even though our ice cream doesn't have any dairy or added sugar, it's still gonna be super creamy, sweet, satisfying, and perfect for a hot day. We're going to be swapping that heavy cream for bananas, and then we're gonna be flavoring ours with some peanut butter for extra protein and healthy fats, and some chocolate chips. Okay, so the star ingredient of this recipe is bananas. So we're gonna wanna freeze these bananas before we start. And before you freeze your bananas, you wanna make sure that they are ripe enough. So what we're looking for is very, very yellow with some spotting, as you can see here. So these are actually perfect for freezing. You're gonna wanna make sure before you start this recipe that you have your bananas in the freezer for at least two hours before you start. All right, I'm gonna go grab my frozen bananas because I've already done that. Okay, so here I have a bag sealed with four frozen bananas. Okay, so this might be the easiest recipe yet on All Baking Boot Camp. Okay, so we're just gonna dump our frozen bananas into the food processor. You could use a blender for this, but the food processor is a little bit easier. Okay. Okay, so when I turn this on, it's gonna be really loud. It's gonna sound like it's crushing ice, which it essentially is. But as the food processor continues to work its magic, the bananas are gonna start to stick together and get creamy and really give that same ice cream consistency. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna turn on my food processor. If you're using a blender, set it on high. You might need to like get in there and push it down because there's just less surface area in a blender for everything to blend together. But you know, be patient, it'll work. You might want to, you know, as you can see, it's starting to get really creamy in there. You might just want to, a couple times while it's going, just make sure that it's not hitting the same spot every time. As you can see, the color of the ice cream is like an off-white. It's not yellow. Okay, so our bananas are perfectly creamy and we've got like a banana soft serve going on here right now. So, so this can be eaten just as is or you can add some flavorings to it. So today we're gonna do some peanut butter and some chocolate chips. But I also love putting some fresh mint in there. You could do teeny and some dates. You could throw some spices in there like cinnamon or cardamom would be wonderful. You could do some walnuts. You can make like a rocky road. So the options are endless, but I love peanut butter and I love chocolate and I love bananas. So that's the combination we're going for today. All right, so we're gonna scoop some peanut butter into our ice cream. And I didn't leave a measurement in here for you guys because if you like things super peanut buttery, add more. If you don't like as much peanut butter, add less or a minute. But I'm gonna just put two big spoonfuls because I love peanut butter. And I love that it's gonna add some protein and some healthy fats to this recipe. So that's gonna help manage blood sugar spikes because the bananas are sweet. It's a natural sugar, but it's still a little sweet. Okay, so now I'm adding another spoonful of peanut butter here. This is a creamy peanut butter, but a crunchy would be great in here too. Uh, and then this is about half a cup of chocolate chips. Okay, so today I'm using dark chocolate chips. You could also use cacao nibs, or you could even break up a bar of chocolate. Um, I like the chocolate chips because they're, you know, it doesn't take as much um, effort for the food processor to grind them, but that's up to you. Chunks of chocolate are delicious. So you're just gonna wanna give it a quick blitz because it'll get the peanut butter evenly incorporated and then some of the chocolate chips will be broken up into smaller bits, but we're still gonna have some chunky, full chocolate chips in here. So our ice cream is ready. Right now what we have is banana soft serve, but if you wanna throw this in the freezer for like an hour or so, it's gonna have more of that ice cream consistency. So it's ready to go as is but totally up to you. I like to eat some now and then 
save the ice cream for later. Get all that yummy ice cream in there. So to store this, just make sure you have a container that you can put in the freezer with a lid. Anything will do. Here I'm just using some Tupperware. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna have a little taste. I love each bite. It's got different little chunks of chocolate in it, which looks so good. The perfect amount of sweetness. This would be great for kids, too. It's really just one easy ingredient. And you always have leftover bananas and trying to figure out what to do with them. So if you're sick of making banana bread, uh, which I think a lot of us might be, then this is a great alternative for something you can do with those uh, frozen bananas. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this episode of Alt Baking Boot Camp. I hope you enjoyed your banana ice cream tutorial. Don't forget to comment below to let us know what flavor combinations you try out. I love seeing how creative you guys get with our Alt Baking Boot Camp recipes. And you don't want to miss an episode of Alt Baking Boot Camp, so please subscribe to Well and Good. 